Hello, my name's Bill. And I'm Cathy, and we'd like to welcome you to our property, which is called Stringy Bark, and it's on 20 acres of bush in Scarsdale, approximately 25 kilometres south of Ballarat in central Victoria. Yes, it's a relatively new build. Uh, we moved in in May 2015. And the house was designed and built by Kevin Starling of Designology. Kevin calls it the convertible house due to the roof awnings, which are a major design element. What we love most about the house is its shape. It's uh, really aesthetically pleasing, both inside and out. Uh, it makes us, the small house seem much larger and it gives a feeling of warmth and comfort as the curve embraces you like a hug. Um, we wanted the house also to resemble a fallen log in the forest, sitting comfortably and naturally in its environment. And the floor plan shows how this is a one-bedroom home with all the living areas facing to the north. The utility rooms are located along the south side and they use up about a third of the width. We've got sliding doors to our pantry, laundry, entry, bathroom and bedroom and that helps give us more usable floor space. We've got a, a centrally located slow combustion wood heater and that heats up the entire house quickly and efficiently. Balconies leading from the sliding glass doors on the north and east side give the illusion of a much bigger house. Um, we've got pleasant bush views um, on the two sides as well where the glass is the north and the east. Uh, on the east, there's also a roller door like on a garage and outside that can be lowered to give added fire and storm protection as well as security. The house is all steel construction, which is a sustainable method. Uh, and that includes the foundations, which are known as mega anchors. Basically, it means that we were able to have the minimum amount of soil disturbance for our foundations. The outside walls on the east and west ends are compressed cement sheets made by Stramit. And you can see the uh, roller door here on the east side. Uh, insulation consists of an outside layer of 0.42 millimeter thick color bond steel. Uh, then there's the sarking, which is R1SL insul break material. Then we've got R2 and R4 wool bats in roof ceiling, uh, sorry, roof and walls. Uh, seven millimeter thick structural plywood bracing, as you can see here, and 10 millimeter plasterboard over the top of that and then several coats of low TOC paint. Uh, this design scored 7.2 stars in the House Energy Rating Scheme and 10 stars from the Victorian Residential Efficiency Scorecard. The house is sited for optimum solar gain, oriented to face north, and we're totally off-grid. All the glass is double glazed, including sliding doors, skylight style windows, the split arch window, and the floor covering is vinyl in the utility areas, and the rest is a cork recycled rubber composite, and this is really soft and very comfortable. All the lighting is super efficient LED. We also have solar powered Illume skylights in the pantry, storeroom, and toilet. And this saves having to turn lights on and off during the day. There is a 10,000 litre bladder bag uh, under the house with all of the water collected from the roof of the house. The twin shed tank shown here provide a further 80,000 litres of storage. All our waste water, uh, grey and black, goes into an organic worm farm. We can supplement the worms by adding any organic material, food scraps, weeds, etc., via the above ground bin. Uh, having this mean, system means that no wastewater leaves the site. All the excess water from the worm, worm farm is pumped into these 1.5 metre deep trenches, which are covered up now, of course, 
um, and the water is absorbed into the soil. We also found that this particular system was cheaper than separate grey water and septic slash composting toilet options. Uh, it does look a bit like a Nissan hut here when it was in construction. But in terms of passive solar efficiency, there's no comparison. The design and placement of the doors and windows gives us excellent airflow in all directions and it's assisted by ceiling fans. An operable skylight in the centre of the roof will draw hot air out of the house on hot summer days and it cools the house down really quickly. A small nectar slow combustion heater um, keeps us cosy during the colder months, like right now, <laughs> with the combination of high solar gain, insulation, double glazing, airflow, fans and the wood heater, we're able to maintain a really comfortable temperature inside all year round, even in Ballarat. The operable awnings are really the distinguishing feature. They make this the convertible house. In winter... The awnings can be fully open to capture the low winter sun and in summer they act as shady verandas. In addition, when the awnings are fully closed, they protect the house from storms and bushfires. With the round shape, the low gutters and the eaves below floor level, ember attack is reduced to almost zero. And the awnings also provide a continuous surface for water collection. So thanks for checking out our house. And, yeah, good luck with your own um, research for living more sustainably. We really encourage you to keep going even if it takes you years because it's just so worth it to end up living in a house such as ours. Thank you. Goodbye.